Vitor Roque is a 17-year-old Brazilian wonder kid who at the start of the game has the potential to be one of the best forwards in Football Manager 2023. Now, it's my job to take him from his career with Atletico Paranense all the way to the top to make him a wonder kid to a legend. Here he is, Vitor Roque, starting at Atletico Paranense, and for 17 years old, how good does he look already? 13 for dribbling, finishing first touch, which I call the holy grail. They're excellent. Composure 13, off the ball 13, technique 13, work rate 13, acceleration, agility is 14, pace is 13. Yeah, he's only 5 foot 8, but as a forward, he's already got pace, the technicals, mentals are really good, and he's got the base of being a really strong player. Everyone went straight to Endrick. I think Vitor starts more well-rounded than his Brazilian compatriot and is in a position to be starting games already. He was bought uh, from Cruzeiro for 4 million in 2022. He has a value of 8 to 9, 9.6. And we're going to play him at the head of this 4-3-3. Got box to box, got a Mazala inside forward and Verto winger. He can also play in this inside forward role with his right foot. Uh, and that might happen, he might swap around, but I think we're going to start him as the AF and see how he gets on. To do that, we're going to train him as an advanced forward on attack, obviously. Uh, and I think the one we want is probably the jumping and the strength. We're going to put him on strength training and see if we can get those two up higher as well. And the trait I'm going to go for to start us off is to beat the offside trap. Nice and easy, nice and simple. Let's fast forward, we'll see how Vitor gets on in a couple of years. You've just seen his hat trick against Sao Paulo, scoring with both feet, scoring off the last shoulder. At 19 years old, it's looking like he's got everything as Vitor Rocky. Let's have a look at him. Uh, dribbling, finishing, first touch up to 14. That's the ones that I'm kind of tracking. Technique up as well. Off the ball, 15. Composure, 14. And he's getting faster as well. He now moves into the channels and likes to beat the offside trap. The wonderful traits there. He's got 50 goals in 84 games with Atletico Paranense so far. Start off 19 goals, then he got 29, 20, 23, and then 20 goals. And amazingly, what I did see is they won the Brazilian league in 2022. Was not expecting this. If you've ever played in Brazil, you know that Flamengo usually dominate, but there they are, Atletico Paranense, top of the Brazilian Serie A. If you've not watched this before, what we do is I don't control the transfers. I don't control where Vitor goes. That'll be up to the game, the club, bids that come in for him. And we will come back and we'll see where he goes, how he develops and how his career pans out. Let's fast forward the next couple, couple of years and see how he's getting on. We did not have to wait long. It's 2025, Vitor, 19 years old still, and now plays for Juventus. The old lady paid 21 million to take him from Brazil. Just in, It was in the January, just after the start of the new season. The January window, 2025, he's gone to Juventus. So he played one game so far, but here he is. He probably won't have improved much. Acceleration's gone up. Off the ball's up to 16, anticipation 16, so he's, he's still getting better. When you look at this Juventus team, they have Dusan Vlavic, who's a four and a half star advanced forward. I think it'd be silly to play Vitor Rocky there at the moment. So we're going to play Vitor on the left as the inside forward, using the same tactic, because obviously it won the league of Paranense, we'll keep rolling the tactic out, and we will train him there as well. So what that does is go to try and improve his vision as well, his passing, uh, the physicals as well, he's, he's got strength 10, jumping 10, but he won't need that as much as the, as the inside forward. We've got him on agility and balance, more the balance, the strength as he beats those uh, wing backs, get, cuts inside, gets into the box. I think that's going to be a good move for him going forward with uh, Juventus. Let's see how he gets on. You've just seen both sides of Vito Rocky's game there. We've seen back post headers including that 95th minute winner against Monza where the home team had zero shots the whole game but Juventus struggling Vitor pops up back post of his heading which is 14 
Uh, he's five foot nine now. He's jumping his own nine, but he still got up there to head in at the back post. And we saw him use his pace to set up Callum Hudson Adoy as well. It's looking really good. Dribble and finishing first touch fifteen. Long shots fifteen. Which inside forward is brilliant. Passing 14, technique 16 off the balls now, 17. And that's why I've got them on the inside four on support. They're the ones that make the runs in behind rather than trying to get on the ball and dribble. Uh, composure 16, decisions 15, acceleration, like his physicals, apart from the jumping, are brilliant. So goals wise, five goals, four assists, first half season with Juventus, then 12 and 12, which is brilliant from an inside forward. And then nine and 10, the last season just gone, 26 games played, there may have been an injury in there. Yeah, he, he missed three months of a torn calf muscle. That's unfortunate. And Vitor's goals have helped Juventus win Serie A once again. 79 points, won it on Sassuolo or second. What? Why is Sassuolo second? Okay, Vavic smashing it. Calum Hudson Adoy smashing it as well. And our boy Vito is helping out there too. And hopefully now he can kick on. Injury behind him, 22 years old. Still a lot of football to go. Is he the man to take Juventus back to European glory? Juventus did win the 2028 Serie A title as well, and they've also won 2029. However, 24-year-old Vita Rocchi is now a member of Bayern Munich's squad. He is a four-star current ability player worth between 129 and 142 million. He played 137 games for Juventus, only scored 37 goals, so he was playing as the inside forward. Doing well enough that Bayern thought, yes, uh, that season with 14 goals and 18 assists is enough that we will pay you 36 million in the January window for our Brazilian forward. And you can see why. The dribbling finishing first touch, nearly all at 16s. Technique 17, off the ball 17, composure 16, physically excellent. Now knocks the ball past the opponent. Why wouldn't you with that acceleration and the, the touch and the dribble? Of course you would. What is quite amusing though, as he's come to Bayern... And he's got Benjamin Sesko in front of him. So we're probably still not going to play him as the advanced forward. We're going to play him as the inside forward still. Because uh, Mr. Sesko is doing quite well. 28 goals, 28 goals. It'd be a shame to, to rock that boat after they paid 80 million for him. So let's keep playing Vitor on the left and see if he gets on. We want Bundesliga because we want that Champions League as well. Since we've been away, Bayern have won five league titles in a row. They did win a Champions League just before. Vitor joined. Frustrating. Here he is now. It is 2035. We've gone way to the end of well, not the end of his career, but he's 30 years old. This is him at the peak. After this, the acceleration drops a little bit. Things start. That's when things start to drop down. This is Vitor Rocky at his four-star peak. We've got dribbling, finishing, first touch there. Long shot, still 15. Technique still 17. Off the balls now 18. Composed 17. Anticipations 18 as well. The physicals are excellent. He now likes to beat his opponent repeatedly. I'm not sure how much of that I like that one, but with a dribble in 15, it was 16. Uh, he's got composure. He's got flair. Why not? Let, let him cook. Let Vitor cook. You can see there he does have 101 goals in 202 appearances of Bayern Munich. That is better than his Juventus return. You can see he's just got better and better as he goes through his career. Wow. 30 goals and 14 assists. 33 goals, 23 assists. That's incredible. 26, 20, 32. For someone playing as an inside forward, he has absolutely smashed it. I mean, Sesco's getting 70, 72, 68, 59, 52. I think this tactic's all right, by the way. I think this tactic does, does a job. Finishing at an 8.01. Why just Benjamin? 31 year old getting an 8 rating and getting 70 goals next to Vitor's like 20 30 a season. What a dynamic duo those two make. Goals there for Vitor in Bayer's cause, including a penalty and a goal against Liverpool in the Champions League. Sadly, they got knocked out on goal differences, wasn't enough at the end. 27 caps for Brazil, 7 goals. I maybe would have expected more, but I mean, he's consistent. The fans love him. I think this has been an excellent career for Vitor Rocky. If you've had him in your saves, please come and join our Discord, link down below, and show me your version of Vitor Rocky. It would be really, really fun to see how you developed him, what, how where you played him and what he became. Guys, if you liked the Wonder Kid to Legend series, please I mean, drop a like, drop a comment. You can go check out the playlist, which is here. 
You've got Ryan Cherokee. We've got Warren Zaire Emery. Loads of good stuff. Guys, from me, Andrew, thanks for watching. Until next time, bye for now.